Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here with my Readers Take Denver book signing vlog. So this is just going to be a super casual intro to the video because I'm actually editing it right now and just realized that I never filmed an intro to it. So hence my just unpacked, <laughs> freshly home, all of that video. So yeah, you're getting what you're getting. <laughs> it's fine. So this is of course after the fact. The trip has already happened. It was a blast. I had so much fun. So it was definitely a fun weekend. Got to hang out with Jess and Morgan and Rachel. We had a blast. We did all the things. We got most of the books signed that we wanted to on the first day. So that was great. And then the second day just saw a few extras and then was able to go back through and see even more that we wanted to. We also did a hockey game while we were there. So we went to the Colorado Avalanche game, which they won. It was five to two. The place was sold out and it was a super like high tension, high energy game which was so much fun to watch. Also got to meet a ton of people in person for the first time. We saw a bunch of authors who were there for their first signings like Nikki Castle and Elsie Silver. It was both of their first signings. Got to see the queen herself Miss Beverly Jenkins which was amazing. Watching the historical romance panel talk was so much fun and then getting to spend like 30 minutes or so with Beverly Jenkins during the actual signing like when she was signing all of our books and just chatting with us like ugh, such a dream. She was the best. Got to see a bunch of authors too again that I had met at a previous signing last last year so that was fun to see them again get like their newest books signed. I had pre-ordered four books ahead of time which ended up coming back with I think double that with books that I picked up. There was also like special editions there. Some authors had like early copies of their books already out which come out like later in this week or this month so that was fun and had to grab them. I ended up coming home with five different special editions, two books that were like early releases that aren't out yet, and then an ARC copy as well of Rebecca Yaros's Fourth Wing, her new like fantasy with dragons. So excited for that one. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Like I said, it's mostly B-roll. had such a great time. And yeah, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I hope you enjoy this one.
called The Widow Rules, and the final book is coming out April 25th. And it's about, I love this, three women walk into a solicitor's office only to discover that they're married to the same deceased man. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> you know how it goes. Wow. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Omni Howard. I also write historical romance, um, Victorian era, Regency era, also mm -hmm. young adult and middle grade next year. Which I'm excited about. Um, my next book is this book. It comes out on Tuesday. And the, the bookstore has advanced copies, which they were approved to get. Um, it is a little bit of Bridgerton meets The Count of Monte Cristo with a dash of the Queen's Gambit. If you like revenge and plots and shenanigans in the you know, glittering ballrooms of London, that this is your vibe. Hi, I'm Beverly Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just a little. Yeah. Sorry. Not wrong. I write for Avon. I've written for them for about three years. So um, my last series is Women Who Dare. Um, Raven, How to Get to Raven was the last book. Working on some new stuff that's kind of secret. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. We will reveal that at the appropriate time. <laughs> and I want to thank all you all for coming. Okay, we appreciate it. Thank you. If you like road trips, um, I have a mail order bride story that I absolutely love. It's called Topaz. If you don't like heat, I have a small town series. My Contemporary characters are descendants of my historical characters. <laughs> so you can come at it either way. But Bring on the Blessings is the first book in the Small Town series. And if you like a lot of hate, <laughs> I have a novella called Prisoner of Love. Um, probably I'd say The Beast of Beswick. That's the book that I'm most well known for. It's Beauty and the Beast meets Taming of the Shrew. Um, and it's, you know, enemies to lovers, big grumpy hero who has a heart of gold. He has a heart of gold and a strong, you know, very passionate woman. She's passionate about her sister and helping her sister who is, you know, a very awful man wants to marry her, like force her into marriage. Um, if you want to read about multicultural characters, like I talked about, uh, set in the historical era, um, my Princess Snake series is, you know, also uh, good. And then if you want to read about... <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, for me it's probably my current series, and it's called Widow Rules. I'm Jana McGregor. And the first book is A Duke in Time, the second is Rules for Engaging the Earl, and then the third book, which comes out in April, is How to Best and Mark Place. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's all three women married to the same deceased guy, and how they pick up the pieces of their life. And of course, they find their true loves. Mm -hmm. um, for me, for probably my new series, The Back of Hill Boys, the first book is Saul. The second is, um, no, the first book is Alice there, the second is Saul. And um, if you want hot Scottish guys and, you know, based in Edinburgh, that's it. Um, another one is Honor and Wealth. This is my newest release, and it features a, a hero that is a veteran. And um, my historicals, I would say, to start with the Island of Pussycat and her Scottish royalty. And yes.
series, um, and they're mostly set in Colorado. Mostly. I have a series set in Texas, one set in New York, and I'm going to be starting a new series next year, and I, I don't know where I'm going to set it. Maybe you guys can help me decide that. It's not interactive. Hi, everyone. I'm Jennifer Probst, New York Times bestselling author. Uh, hello, lovelies. Um, I write contemporary romance set in my hometown, which is New York, but it's the Hudson Valley. It's an hour and a half north of Manhattan. So I've always said I have the best of both worlds. Just go to strawberry and cupcake festivals, and then get on the train and go see a Broadway play. A lot of my series take place there, and then I can also bounce into New York City if I need the big city thing. So it's like the best of both worlds. I'm Albie Dondar. Um, I actually live in Chicago, which is not a small town at all. Um, I write characters who are over 40. That's what I'm more known for. Um, but the small town series that I do write, I have two that are in Michigan. Um, both of them are centered around like a lake town. I have one uh, in Georgia, Blue Ridge, which I did not realize was a real city when I named my series, so oops. But I have been to the town and I think I've done it justice. And then I have um, another series that's in a small town in West Virginia, which is completely fictional, named Brightwood. Um, I am Elsie Silver. I am from Canada. I live right now just outside of Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, my first series is set pretty close to there, the Gold Rush Ranch series, about an hour and a half down the road towards the Cascade Mountains. But I grew up in Alberta, which is where my Chestnut Springs series is set. So I was born in Calgary, and Chestnut Springs is just outside of Calgary. Um, and it kind of has like a Montana prairie vibe. Everything is kind of more ranch life, a little bit rural feeling, and yeah, that's, that's my series. Hi everybody, I'm Jenny Martz, and I do live in Colorado now, in Colorado Springs, but I grew up in Kansas and Colorado, and so I'm a Kansas girl, small town girl at heart. Also lived in Montana for a while. I heard somebody over here in Montana. Um, I have over 30 published books. I have six different series, always write small towns. Um, I just have that small town part um, where, you know, I just love that where everybody knows each other and everybody takes care of each other. And so, I can confirm because Jenny sent me the nicest email about how to prepare for my first time. <laughs> <laughs> it was very small town feeling. And I was like, either she is going to think like I'm a creepy son, <laughs> or like, trying to be her mom. Like, I totally mom. <laughs> Like rom-con, cozy mysteries, and I mash up my I write.